Hello everyone. It is a very very long time which I did not update my GD extension video series. And that does not mean I am finished with that series. Of course there are a lot of other stuff which I did not cover in this video series. In this video I'm going to explain how to add enum into your GD extension class and why they are useful. Enum is used widely in programming. A simple example for enum is this. When you want to open a file with file access class, for a second argument, you should pass a flag and specify you want to read from that file or write or do both of them. As you can see, each of these options is specified with an integer number. This is very useful because you can pass information with minimal data. Also, everything is really readable. So let's do this in GD extension. Here in GD extension class, I just create an enum and I add two constants here. If you don't specify a value for this enum constants, it is also okay. And these constants start from zero value and they will increment. And don't forget semicolon. Well, we have this enum in C++ and we can access them in C++. But how we can access them inside GDX script? You need to add two things. One inside header file and one other inside .cpp file. Just where your class finish add variant enum cast then specify your enum here like this then after that go inside bind method class inside dot cpp file and bind each of this constant which we defined like this build your gd extension library and go inside go dot to be able to see your constant here in editor you need to restart go dot first after that if I just print my constant here, you can see this will recognize my constant. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, have a good time.